search for the accused killer managed to stop his appearance in open court this morning. It's been almost five weeks now since police say Jared Ramos opened fire in the Capitol newsroom in the planned attack. WGT investigator Mike Helgen is live at the circuit courthouse in Annapolis with what happened there today. Mike? Vic Ramos says he did not do it. We don't know what his exact defense will be. His lawyer has tried to keep him out of the public eye, even pushing for a gag order in this case, which a judge previously denied. With memories of the five people who lost their lives in the Capitol Gazette newsroom massacre still fresh, the public defender representing accused mass murderer Jared Ramos tried to keep the case out of the public eye, filing motions that canceled his client's hearing in open court to the judge's surprise. He was interested in having as much due process as possible. Um, if the defendant was here, he indicated that he would have actually arraigned him even though the filings had been done. This video shows Ramos in custody minutes after the killings. He's remained jailed ever since, and he now has pleaded not guilty to the murders. But police and prosecutors say they have surveillance video and other evidence, including letters Ramos sent saying he did proceed to Capital Gazette Communications with the objective of killing every person present. Photojournalist Paul Gillespie survived the attack that killed his colleagues Gerald Fishman, Rob Hyacin, John McNamara, Rebecca Smith, and Wendy Winters. Wendy sat on just the other side of the desk that I was under, and I heard her get up, and she might have said some other stuff, but the thing I remember the most was her saying, no. Ramos held a grudge against the newspaper for years, posting numerous threats online. He was upset over an article they published about his harassment of a high school classmate, her lawyer. He wanted to get revenge. Laura Kiesling is the judge presiding over the murder trial. No firm date has been set, but she'll hold a conference with attorneys sometime in August. And several Capital Gazette reporters attended the proceedings here today. There is now a push to have the president bestow on Wendy Winters the nation's highest civilian honor, the Presidential Medal of Freedom, for her heroic actions that day. Reporting live in Annapolis, Mike Helgren, WJZ. Mike, thank you. Ramos faces the possibility of life in prison without parole if he's convicted.